All right. Uh, one thing I didn't mention yesterday. Uh, here's an example of a BMP. Okay, BMP. If you go to Gary Kessler's page here, it tells us the signature for a BMP is 424D. Okay. So if I was to go over here in Hex Workshop, search for it, there's one. Now, there happens to be 854 of them, but I'm going to be nice and show you an actual one on your image. So there it is. You notice it starts at 001FE000. Now, the problem we have is where does it end? You'll notice there's no trailing. Now, but Gary does give us a note here. It says bits 2 through 5 contain the file length in little Indian order. Well, what the heck does Little Indian mean? Well, if you look up here on his website, a little bit of history about it, you'll see that Jonathan Swift, way back when he wrote Gulliver's Travel, he was talking about how certain people eat hard-boiled eggs. Some eat from the little end first, hence Little Indian, while other people eat from the big end, hence Big Indian. Yes, this is true, by the way. So it really defines how people eat hard-boiled eggs, but it's also used in numbers and computers. Little Indian is used to represent the least significant bits, and Big Indian is the most significant bits. I'm not going to get into that here, but this page actually does go into more in-depth on that. Okay, so now we know from Gary that bits 2 through 5 contain the length of the file in Little Indian. So I can go over here. And I can select bits 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. You'll see I get some numbers down here. Now I can also, so the numbers are F64C2000. Now I can go to this online hex converter and put them in. And it will give me my little Indian numbers right here in 32 bit. We need 32. Okay. Say so if you use 16, it's not right. So use 32. It's 2116854. That is the size of our file. Now, if I go back over here, you also know the text workshop is actually giving us that right here and assigned along. See that right there? So 2116854 is our assigned long, which is the length of the file. So 2116854. So I'm going to go from here, go edit, select block. I'm going to go size of block in decimals, put in 2116854 and say okay now I'm gonna go file so save selection I'm gonna call this one BMP one dot BMP and it should be saving and now I'm gonna open it up it's actually right there I'm gonna open it up and there's my BMP so it did work correctly okay so now, I'm not going to do another one for you, but remember what I said. I want the end of the sector. So if I was to scroll down here. Whoa, I passed it. If I was to scroll down, you'll see that this file, come on, actually ends in the middle of a sector. The reason is the file, like I, I mentioned in class the other night, the file is done. It's just extra space. It's actually called file slack, which I did not talk about, but I will talk about in another lecture. So the BMP is actually done. But as I mentioned how some files like Word documents actually have to, have to have a complete sector, I want the complete sector number. And for that, you just scroll down to the next start of a sector, which we know is right there for the next one. And then if we go to here, it actually ends at 00402FFF. And that's the ending of the BMP that starts at 001FE00. Easy enough. So that's an easy way to get BMPs. But make sure, even though we very easily found the ending was right, wherever it was right in there. Um, yes, because I unselected it. Uh, even though I found it that way, make sure you get the end of the sector when submitting your assignment. Okay, so little Indian can be seen down here uh, very simply. Now I'm going to show you one more time. So if I select the beginning and I highlight this value here, bits 2, 3, 4, 5, or bytes 2, 3, 4, 5, you'll see sign long right there. It's a 32-bit number. Okay, so that's, that's how you get it. All right, hope it helps.